بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹ یو ہیو لرن ڈیم آف اسلامک منتھ لونر منتھ اینڈ یو پیپل رائٹ امپورٹنٹ ایونٹس ریلیٹڈ ٹو ایچ منتھ آل آف یو شیور اسٹوڈنٹ دیٹس گڈ اسٹوڈنٹ اوور ٹوڈے ٹاپک از سولر کیلنڈر we move toward the next type of calendar that is solar calendar solar calendar students we use mostly solar calendar in your daily life okay open your book student all of you open your book page number 110 book page 110 now the topic is solar calendar solar calendar okay the earth revolves around the sun rotation round earth gear the earth zameen the earth revolves around the sun suraj The time taken by one full revolution is called one solar year. One solar year. The earth revolves around the sun. The time taken by one full revolution is called one solar year. There are 12 months in a solar year. and there are also 12 months in a lunar year means number of months in each calendars are same okay the month of the solar calendar have 30 or 31 days the month of the solar calendar have 30 or 31 days except february which has 28 or 29 days except february which has 28 or 29 days the year in which february has 29 days is called a leap year this one this one point is important okay the year in which february has 29 days is called a leap year what is a leap year the year in which february has 29 days is called a leap year is called a leap year clear okay student student when you people learn about a lunar calendar a lunar calendar there are 12 months In solar calendar, 12 months. Now, in lunar calendar, the number of days in each month not fixed. Remember, there are 29 or 30 days, but not fixed. And the number of days in solar calendar in each month fixed, 30 or 31 30 or 31 except february which has 28 or 29 days and when it has 29 days this year is called leap year if you people check the calendar of recent year it's clear to you that this year 2020 is a leap year student in more simple word leap year comes after every four years or the year number of year which is completely divisible by four is a leap year like four fives are 20 20 are completely divisible by four now move toward 21 21 is not a leap year 22 23 yeah 24 is a leap year and five month in 24 2024 is again 29 days 
वन मोर थिंग स्टूडेंट इन नॉर्मल एयर वेन फेबर इज ट्वेंटी एट दे आर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव डेज बट वेन लीव एयर फेबर इज ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज देन थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सिक्स डेज इन वन एयर बट इन सोलर इन लूनर एयर दे आर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स डेज ओके टेन डेज एट लीस्ट टेन डेज गे बिटवीन दिस टू एयर्स in the number of days in the two years okay because they have the number of days in each month up to 31 or 30 but in lunar calendar it has 29 or 30 okay okay student you people learn about name of these days and number of days name of these months and number of days in each month in class 1 to remember you people remember so you people help me okay how many days in each month clear okay the first month is january great the first month is january that's good first month is january and how many days in january 31 days how many days 31 days next month student next month is february that's good next month is february and how many days in february Yes, at the start of the lecture, this point is clear. Twenty-eight are twenty-nine days. Great. Okay. Now move toward the third month. The name of third month is March. March. How many days in March, student? Your exam month. March. Thirty-one days. Great. Thirty-one days after March. Which month comes, student? May, June, April. Yes, April, April. Fourth month. No, it is this month. Up, going on, going on. April. How many days in April? Yes, thirty days. How many days? Thirty days after April, which month comes, student? May. Fifth one month of the year is May. How many days in May? Thirty-one days after May, student. Which month come? Yes, June. How many days in June, student? How many days? Thirty days. That's good. After June. After June, which one comes? July. Good. How many days in July? Yes, thirty-one days. Clear. So the first month is January, thirty-one days. The second month is February, twenty-eight or twenty-nine days. The third month is March, thirty-one days. The fourth month is April, thirty days. The fifth month is May, thirty-one days again. The sixth month is June, thirty days. The seventh month is July. Thirty-one days. The eighth month is August. Yes. We celebrate Independence Day in this month. Remember, on fourteenth of August. How many days in August? Thirty. No, student, not thirty. Thirty-one. Okay, thirty-one days. After August, which month comes, student? After August. September yes which month comes 
September. September comes after August. How many days in September? 30 days. Great. And after September, October is come. And how many days in October? How many days in October? 31 days. How many days? 31 days. How many days? 31. After October, which month come? November. That's good. And how many days in November? Yes. 30 days. After November, which month come? The last month of the year. December. Yes. Chilly weather. For Remember? December. 31 days. Clear? So, first month is January. 31 days. Second month is February. 28 or 29 days. Third month is March. Third month is March. 31 days. Fourth month is April. 30 days. Fifth month is May. 31 days. Sixth month is June. 30 days. Seventh month is July. 31 days. Eight month is August. Again 31 days. Ninth month is September. September. 30 days. Tenth month is October. 31 days. Eleventh month is November. 30 days. And the last month of the year is December. 31 days. Clear? Clear, student? Student, just like lunar calendar, there are some important events related to each month. Like March, 23rd March. You people remember? Why 23rd March is so important? 23rd March, student. 13th March? Don't know. 12th March? No, no, student. April? No? May? First May? We celebrate. First May is Labor Day. Or first April? 10th May? I don't know, student. It's your task. You people find out important events related to each month and write down at least two important events in your rough notebook like lunar calendar, lunic, lunar months. You people write two important events related to each month, Islamic month, remember? So you people write same in solar calendar, solar months, okay? Move toward June and July. Oh, hot one weather. August, so clear to you people. 14th August. 24th August. 4th August, I don't know, student. You people find out the important day and write the event. Okay. September, October, November and December. Again, your winter break start in December. Okay, student. So, you people find out, it's your task, you people find out important events related to each month, at least two important events, and write down in notebox. Clear? So, your homework, move toward your homework. Your homework is learn and write name of solar months in drug copy. Name of solar months. You people also write number of days. Number of days. 
these are important for your objective type questions okay so you people write name of months number of days in each month and the third one task you people write two important events related to each month clear student and also one more thing you people write your birthday month date and day okay you people celebrate your birthday hmm all of you that's good you people received gifts hmm okay so you people also write your birthday date along with day along with month okay and islamic events like eid ul fitr eid ul adha also mention the date in the days of these islamic events okay eid milad un nabi clear and which date it's false okay clear writing should be neat and clean after vacation inshallah i check all these notebooks and you people face no problem okay when you, when we write all these work when you people write all these work in your neat notebook written practice are so important for you people student okay don't disturb your parents do your work yourself you are so genius you can do it it's easy you people already learn it in class 1 and 2 okay so revise it learn it and write it okay again underline the name of months number of days and also the events you people write your birthday okay clear thank you